If I see a black person walking around with Trump mugs, tell them I'll punch him in the face. Charles. Oh, uh, no, Gil. Charles. Gil, Gil, Gil. You, uh, you really can't say that, because, A, you don't mean that. Oh, I mean that sincerely. <laughs> but if you see somebody, a black person with a Donald Trump uh, I'm gonna punch mug, him right you're going to punch eye. him in the face. <laughs> I, 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 Gail, I promise you. <laughs> I would bail you out. I would bail you out. You're not going to be my first call. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear when it comes when it comes to the media. We know what the media is, okay? The media is supposed to be the messenger. The media is supposed to be an amoral entity. It's supposed to be about as amoral as money and lawyers, essentially. They are a necessary evil. We know they're evil, but they're necessary. However, where they cross the line is when they purposely misinform people and then somehow entice people, okay, to do violence. There's been multiple occasions where certain media companies have done this. CNN have pulled the same stunt many times I've seen. Most recently, they took a clip purposely out of context Play it to a group of people to aggravate them. Knowing very well that those people had not seen the whole entire clip and therefore to show their frustration, to allow them to show their frustration. And then we had a person, a person who is in the media quite often actually make a threat. It may have seemed like a joke, but this was very serious. And I believe the media that did this should have been held accountable. Okay? Many, okay, many cases that this has been and it's, that this has been done and it's been very distractive. We saw this during the protest when you purposely misinform in an attempt to aggravate or anger a group of people, then you're part of the problem. It becomes not about uh, relaying messages anymore it becomes you fueling the fire you putting gas gas into the fire adding fuel to the fire and I believe that there should be penalties for stuff like this a lie that is only half truth is the darkest of all eyes. Alfred Lord Tennyson.